Good evening, friends and family from around the world. This is Morning Dew, the daily events worldwide, and we are on November 29th, 2020. And as promised, we have the Volcanic Activity Report giving you the action on the most recent active and erupting volcanoes from around the world, looking at small images here of Mount Sinabung, which erupted late last night as well as that large Luatula in Indonesia. So right now we're observing 41 active and erupting volcanoes drawing out here the major fault lines and alert fault lines as we've seen a lot of activity along the red zones. Even through the Atlantic, a lot of earthquakes recently, mid-Atlantic earthquakes increasing in Iceland. So yeah, we're going to start out here, Central America, zoom in here to the very large inactive Popo Paquetito, who is first on the list, moving down into Ecuador and Mexico, or further south in Mexico, Santiaguito, Fuego, and as well, Pacaya Volcano. Talica, Masaya, Rican de la Vejo, Terriabla, moving into South America. Nevada's the rules. Reventador and Sangue. Down here to Sabancaya. And into Argentina, where yesterday we had a 5.8 earthquake reported. And some video footage coming out along the ridge here. That whole ridge line looks like it may have shifted. There were massive landslides and puffs of dust in the videos crazy stuff coming out of South America thoughts and prayers to everybody affected worldwide moving further south here Nevada's the Chilean Copahue and Villa Rica Argentina over to Africa where we have two very active Nirigongo volcano and as well the Nirimirigongo Amazing structures there in Africa as well. Ert de Ale. Moving over into Italy with Etna and Stromboli, who they've had some pretty sizable eruptions this last little while as well. Now into India, the Barren Island volcano. Moving southward to Indonesia, Sinabung. Kurinchi, Merapi, and Semeru, and Sengang Api, and of course the Luatula volcano, which erupted. I wanted to zoom in here to show you the sheer size of this volcano that erupted a very large ash cloud into our atmosphere. I was observing it when it first erupted two days ago on Google Earth. And it is a 4,000 meter tall volcano. Amazing structure, Luatola. Let's hope it doesn't have any more massive eruptions. Thoughts and prayers to everybody in the surrounding areas affected by the cloud. And we'll carry on here with the volcanoes from around the world. Moving northward to the Philippines where we have the Ibu Volcano the Kono and as well the Karangatang Volcano and then South Japan Swiss and Ajima Kashina Ribajima and as well Sekirajima over to Kamchatka Russia Ebuko and Karamiski Kluchevskoy 
and as well the Chevalet. And you can see here latest satellite imagery showing a very active ash spill along the southern flank. Moving down into Papua New Guinea, where we have a cadaver, and as well Langila. Down into East Timor, New Caledonia, Yes Sir Volcano, the White Island Volcano, north of New Zealand, and of course the mighty and Antarctic Erubus, still active and erupting active caldera so yes we are observing 41 volcanoes from around the world that is actually four less than last week but we do have a couple new ones so stay safe stay aware prepared i appreciate y'all tuning in to the volcanic activity report where once a week we analyze and count the active and erupting volcanoes but i also wanted to show you here all of the volcanoes from around the world we are lit up here and we have thousands of volcanoes dormant thousands so stay safe stay aware and prepared all along all of these fault lines that i had marked out it's quite amazing our planet especially when we look at all of the landmass that has been made from these active volcanoes throughout our history. Again, thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. And as well, just have a quick peek here. North America. Rocky Mountains. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.